morning everyone it's Wednesday morning I should know the date the 27th of July we're two days away from leaving for New Jersey I have my grandson Hunter here you hear a lot of bouncing around and kind of loud noises coming he's watching all the videos of the animatronics he's going to be seeing on Saturday at the opening day of spirit Halloween so here we are believe it or not I didn't bring my calendar but this is week 30 of 2022 week 30 Ooh, we're going quick it's a beautiful day in Rhode Island today I'm in New England in Rhode Island Rhode Island is not part of New York <laughs> every time we travel and we go somewhere and they say where are you from and we say we're from Rhode Island they say oh is that in New York no so anyway it's the 30th and our weather is nice today I don't even have air conditioning on anywhere in the house, although I probably will before the day is out. So today's today's uh, dish cloth for week 30 is called Crazy Eights. It's a circular dish cloth, and it's a little more simple than the circular uh, dish cloths I uh, showed you earlier in the year. Those had a pattern that was, you know, it wasn't hard, but you had to follow it. You had to pay attention to what you're doing. And it's summertime. We want to we wanna knit stuff that we don't have to really pay attention to. And that's what this is. It's a dishcloth by Julia Tasha, T-A-R-S-H-A. It is a paid-for pattern on Ravel, Ravelry. However, Julia does two videos on how to make this um dishcloth and she shows you how to make it half the size because this is going to turn out to be well I don't know how much in inches but I told you the patent's called crazy eights here's what you can see there we go here's what they look like and it's really easy to do these you um I didn't finish it so I could show you what it looks like. It's easier to explain while it's being knit. See how it started out here and you make it in segments and you continue around with short stitches. So there's only 16 stitches that you're dealing with at a time. And actually each row you leave one off until you've left off eight. Well, I'm not gonna tell you how to make the 16 inch one. The 16 stitch one although she does it's not necessary to, to buy the pattern unless you want to have a copy of the pattern i bought it because i want to document everything i did this year because i'll never remember where where what the name of something was or where i found it and in case i need to i um if i want to repeat these i'm buying the patterns but if i'm going to link to her two youtube videos she makes one using only eight inches across so that she can demonstrate the whole um, act of creating the round scrubby dishcloth and it's only um, like it would be eight and eight stitches 16 inches in diameter whereas this one will be 32 inches in diameter you can see it's going to go from here to there um, and it, I just I, I I wanted to finish it last night because it was so quick, but I just wanted to be able to show you this is how you work on it. So it's not very many stitches at a time. At the end, you cinch up the middle with the beginning. You're going to cinch up the middle into a circle. It all goes flat and you, you just sew a stitch. You do a whip stitch or a, what was the stitch they called it? I can't think of it. Mattress stitch. Should have thought of that. Mattress stitch to put the um, the ends together. And it's fun. It's enjoyable. And they look kind of cute. They look nice in the variegated. This variegated is the um, Sugar and Cream um, by Lily. And it's called Psychedelic. I think the colors represented pretty well. I opened the curtains so that the light would come in today. So that's today's this week's dishcloth. So if you go to the, her YouTube channel, she'll show you how to make an eight, eight inch one, an eight stitch one. I don't know how many inches it is across. 
So anyway, if you make the little one, I'm going to make some little ones with the, um, with the, uh, with the yarn I'll have left over. And I can give one big one and maybe a small one or maybe even two small ones to go with it as a gift because sometimes you just need a little, um, a little scrubby to do some dishes and you don't need the big dish cloth. Um, Dawn makes a product. It's called Dawn Premium, I think. It's in a little blue bottle and it comes with a pump. And what they suggest is, you know, if you live alone, you don't have a lot of dishes and you don't want to just have dirty dishes in the dishwasher till tomorrow. Um, you just squirt this thing and the soap stays on your sponge or your washcloth. And um, you can do a couple of plates, a cup, a glass, whatever, and some silverware. And so that's that would be good for those little round ones. Well, you'll see if you're interested and you go to the uh, YouTube channel, you'll see what she did. Quite clever. I think it's some kind of a traditional, um, I don't know if it's her design or if it's something from many years ago. So she even says here, I could easily make them without the pattern. They're that easy, but the pattern is available. I like to, I like to uh, buy the pattern, like I said. Okay, that's enough babbling for today. Um, I'm surprised Hunter didn't come in to tell you about his trip. He said he might come by and he likes to, he wants to be <laughs> in some of my dishcloth videos. He's been on, he's been in a video before. He didn't come in, but he's very into this trip. We just found some suitcases upstairs. So he's going to take a suitcase to pack his overnight bag. It's just a little thing on, but it's on wheels. So he likes, he likes that. And uh, yeah, we're getting ready to go. Five hours there and five hours back. <laughs> so, uh. We're looking forward to it. It should be exciting. If those of you who are friends with me on Facebook, I might do some Facebook lives that day if I, if it's if it's possible. He's very excitable. I don't know what we'll be doing. So anyway, uh, have a good week. Enjoy the nicer weather. I hear it's getting hot again, but maybe we'll have a couple of nice days of reasonable summertime. Okay, take care. Bye now. <laughs>